Well, more backlash following the Chris Rock comedy special and Benifer making some big real estate moves. TMZ's Harvey Levin is live in Los Angeles this morning to talk about all of it. Good morning, Harvey. Good morning, Shannon. How you doing? I'm doing well. So you know, I watched uh, most of the Chris Rock special, and I've seen that you know some people are having their opinions about it, and as they have this whole last year since this all happened. But a writer now telling a CNN anchor that you know Chris Rock actually deserved the slap from Will Smith in the first place. I think she was pretty angered by his special and his reaction and how he handled it, and she said he deserved it for the way he's talked about black women. What, what was the point that yeah. she was really trying to make? I, I was stunned at this. Um, she, yeah, I, I watched it live, and she, th this is a writer for the Root. She um, essentially said just what you said that he deserved it, um, and uh, you know, she said that this was Chris Rock's history, um, that he was attacking black women, um, and and. The weird thing was, you know, she was getting into the fact that there are a lot of marginalized people who um, have become the butt of jokes, and that's certainly fair. But this is Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith, um, and they are Hollywood royalty, actually. And look, I mean, Chris Rock told a joke on stage. Um, he didn't mention her name, um, and maybe some people found it offensive, Will Smith didn't seem to find it offensive because he laughed at it and then turned to Jada and then his whole demeanor changed. So uh, you look, I mean, I, I had not really heard people try to justify the slap, but that's what's going on right now uh, because of the special. Um, people think he went too far, that he went after Jada too much, that, you know, he called her names. Um, but look, they hate each other. I mean, Jada hates Chris Rock. Will hates Chris Rock. And Chris Rock hates them both. And that's been going on for five years now. So, you know, look, this it, it, it's amazing to me that that in a country where people have been talking about violence now for a long time and deploring it, that this one is OK for a lot of people. And a lot of people are saying that. Yeah, and she really tried to make the point, hey, words can be violence, too, and she's kind of doubling down on that. Okay, we need to talk no, about... But, but, but I, I just want to say, words don't take you to the emergency room, okay? Yeah. Words don't take you to the emergency room. A really hard slap or punch does. Yeah, hey, and Chris Rock made that same joke, I think, as well in his, in his yeah. special. Yeah. So, okay, let's talk about J-Lo and Ben Affleck. They are in escrow for a new mansion after they canceled another one, both of these places look amazing. Very expensive. Well, it, it's not just one cancellation. This is at least the second time they were on the, uh, the just the, the cliff where they were about to make the decision to buy the house. They actually were in escrow twice and they pulled the plug right before it was supposed to close. And while they were in escrow on a house nearby, the one they're now in escrow on, um, they just started looking again, and they found another house they liked more. So now they're in escrow on that, and this house is twice what the other one cost. The other one was about 34 million. This is over 60 million. So um, they're. What's unclear to me is, are they going to seal this deal? Are they going to be? Are they going to keep on looking, and then maybe finding something else? But at some point, I think some of these realtors are going to kind of get tired of showing them around only to find out that they've moved on to greener pastures over and over and over again. Yeah, it keeps getting bigger and bigger and more expensive. Okay, before we let you go, I know TMZ has a new game show we want to talk about as well. Oh, yeah. Um, so thank you, Shannon. So this is called, uh, it's called Who the Bleep Is That? And it's a really fun show. It's basically we take celebrities and mask them, we disguise them, and then slowly reveal who they are. And first person to guess can end up winning a lot of money. And the host is Jeff Dye, and he's a comedian, and he's hysterical. And I believe it's on in Dallas at 1230. Mm -hmm. And right. um, it's a really, really fun show. Yeah, sounds fun. Awesome. All right, Harvey Levin, thanks so much for joining us, as always. We'll see you. All right, you can see TMZ weeknights at 11.30 p.m. and weekdays at 3 p.m. here on Fox 4. You can also find a link to the show and all the stories we talked about 
at fox4news.com.